Okay, we're going to add in code to determine what, what keys you're pressing on the keyboard. This will eventually be used to turn the arrow to a specific direction and move it. Now we're going to be working with both the arrow keys and the WASD. If you haven't played a lot of computer games, we want you to move forward on the W or the up arrow, move right on D or right, move down on S or down, and move left on A or the left arrow key. E either set of keys should work. But first we have to figure out what key codes are being passed back to the computer for those keys. So I'm going to personally show you guys the up and right you're going to have to figure out WASD and finish the program from there. I'm just going to show you the two keys. So what we've got in here is we've got a stage at event listener for a key down. And what this does is it listens for you to push a key on the keyboard. And then we'll call the move me function, which will eventually move the arrow. Right now, though, it passes the key down event, the keyboard event, and please notice this my event here, this can be anything. You can call it zebra. It's actually a variable you're creating, and it doesn't matter what you call it. Void means it's not returning anything. And what I'm doing is I'm going to trace the event that we're getting. This also needs to be zebra. And that's what I'm trying to show you here is that this is a variable to match this. So I think my event makes more sense, but I want to show you that anything will work. And so we're getting the keyboard event that was passed in here, which is the key code. So we're going to run this. And right now, nothing's happening. Now I'm going to push the up arrow on my keyboard. And look, the up arrow is 38. W would be 87. So when we are programming things, we want to accept either of those to do the same thing. The right key is 39. So you need to test up right, down, left, W, A, S, D, and write those key codes down. Do, so create this part of the program, write those key codes down, and also get the key for the spacebar. I just did that one. It's 32, because we're going to make the spacebar have it jump and move its um, position on the stage. So get that done, and then we'll move on to step three.